Testing one two one two and trois. All right, we're live. Hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Guys, we're almost at ten thousand subscribers. We just smashed. What well, you smashed the eight thousand community members on our VR Essentials YouTube channel. So. Well done, guys. I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support. And welcome back, of course, if you're a regular viewer. And welcome to you if you're new to the channel, you've never been here before. Whew, this is all crazy and mad. We talk about, as I mentioned before, the practical uses of virtual reality. Now, guys, let's go back to our YouTube channel just for a little second, because we're here to talk today about the new Oculus Quest 3 Pro, whatever rumors you want to talk about. Now, about three weeks ago, we were the first and only channel, I believe, please comment below, let me know if there are other channels around that time that spoke about something like this. We said, don't buy the Quest 2 128 gigabyte. Here's why. We had another video two weeks ago to say, sell your Quest 2 soon. Here's why, trying to give, you know, to educate people. So potentially you could save as much money as possible on your current Oculus Quest so you could basically uh, upgrade, you know, to another potential VR headset. And now, of course, four days, uh, about a week ago, we posted another video to say that Mark Zuckerberg was teasing the release of potentially a new Quest 3. As he said, we're launching new products that he's going to be announcing uh, during Facebook Connect on the 28th of October. And then, and then what happened? Oculus decided to knock off $100 off a second VR headset when you buy Quest 2. And we posted on Twitter. Let me just go to my Twitter very quickly. Um, we said, uh, where is it? Here we go. I think it's around here. We wish to inform our followers that this is very unusual activity from Facebook and maybe a signal to a new quest on the horizon. So guys, we really are, I think, you know, I know a lot of people don't like to hear it, but at the end of the day, we are one of the only channels telling all of you, don't buy the quest. Don't buy it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait until October 28th after the announcement whether you should splash your quest on the current quest to 128 gigabytes at 299 or just save your money man and put that money on a better vr headset because there are more rumors there are more things that have been leaked and we're gonna go through this um right away so let's just transition over another article article that came out literally about 20 hours ago did oculus quest just leak the pros controllers and specs leak online now there are some people who think that there's going to be two different quests uh two new vr headsets coming out by uh facebook i don't know I don't know, it's not really their nature to do that. Are they looking to expand the product range and do a little bit what Apple are doing? Are they trying to reserve something uh, in case Apple come out with a VR headset that will cost less than a thousand US dollars? Although it's reported that Apple's uh, headset will cost at least two thousand uh, US dollars. So we don't think they're going to come out with something cheaper, but you never know with Apple, right? Um, or are Facebook just going to do what they do best, which is one VR headset per year, and that's it. And, you know, uh, they'll just release it b during Christmas time or potentially release something next May. But we do believe they will be releasing something <laughs> during Christmas time, guys. So do be careful. Do be careful. Let's just dive back into the article um, and see. So this is posted by Upload VR Trade. Uh, one of the most reputable trade uh, industry publications for those who are not familiar with VR stuff going on. Um, so the shots, so basically there are some uh, some pictures that have been leaked um, about Facebook. Okay, I was trying to get the, the picture. So let me just get the image address. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me make it bigger. So this is basically one of the images that shows a camera on a controller, guys. Guys, in terms of privacy, I don't know what you think. Leave a comment below. Are you comfortable having a camera on a controller? That means that basically if you don't bring your 
let's say in a different room, but you happen to bring your controller, you forget your controller in the bedroom, let's say. Now, Facebook's going to be able to film everything uh, what's going on in those other rooms if your headset is not there, just FYI. But anyway, that's a topic for another another conversation, another, another video. So do make sure you do hit subscribe uh, to the channel, guys. Uh, and then let's take this image here. And then this is another camera, I guess, here, or it looks like what it could be a camera. So basically at the moment, uh, the way that, you know, uh, the, the way that the headsets work is that, you know, obviously the cameras, um, there's an infrared sensor inside of the actual uh, you know, control at the moment, and that's how the headset knows where the controller is. But if you put the controller at the back or very close to the headset, you'll create some lagging, or of course, the headset will not be able to uh, track the actual controller whatsoever. And also, there are various different headsets. What they do is they splash uh, various different um, crosses, if you wish, or or information in your room, and in the camera, the headset can actually get to see that information in the room, and the, the, the controller is also, well, no, it's the headset that can see the, the 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 information in the room, and that's how it knows where it is, and all these kind of things. Now, with a camera on the controller, it means that the controller will be able to track all this data as well, including at the back of your head. So, if you're doing this, then normally the headset will be able to uh, pass information from the camera on the controller back to the headset and know what's going on and track the controller much more accurately, accurately. So that's basically what it means in terms of having a camera on the uh, on 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 uh, a camera on the controllers. So how it can help to get better tracking. Now the shots appear to be from Facebook Workplace video conference based on the user interface visible. Uh, let me just make sure that I transitioned over. Give me a moment. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, so, the shots appear to be from Facebook Workplace video conference based on the user interface visible, the first image. Workplace is Facebook, Slack, and Microsoft's team, Teams competitor. That might suggest that this leak originated either from within Facebook or from a developer with early hardware access using Workplace, um, using Workplace as a remote work solution. So, um, unlike all Oculus Touch controllers to date, no infrared LED ring is present in these shots. So that's very interesting. Excuse me, we're live on edited. So it's interesting that it seems that they're going to be swapping the technology for infrared LED. Now, this also means that you may not be able to play at night anymore using an infrared IR light illuminator. So that's going to be very interesting if there's no uh, infrared LED information. And honestly speaking, it was, it was, I don't know about you guys, I mean, we used to have the Quest and, you know, we really thought that was amazing technology, the infrared LED, because you could just plug an IR wherever you want and play in complete darkness. So if this is the case, it questions whether uh, it's going to be possible to do that with the next Oculus Quest uh, VR headset, right? Uh, so based on what we know so far about Facebook's next VR headset, these controllers, if real, could be for Oculus Quest Pro. Now, I just want to talk about the name of the potential next headset. Uh, we posted another tweet. Guys, do follow us on Twitter. We are VR Essentials Numerical One. By the way, uh, we just went uh, for, I just went for my uh, vaccination and I brought my Pico Neo uh, to the vaccination. It really helped me to feel, you know, much more. It, it completely took away uh, my anxiety and I was actually in big screen uh, whilst everything was going on. So uh, that's pretty cool. So we posted another thing. Uh, apparently, uh, when you, you when you when you tweet uh, when you go on Google and you you type Oculus Quest three, now the re the results that come out, uh, it's very interesting. You can there we had I had these two results that came out. So one was an ad shop Oculus Quest three and it showed all these different things. Another one was from Amazon.sg, which is a Singapore based uh, Amazon dot uh, com, right? Uh, and it said buy Oculus Quest three on Amazon. So I'm just thinking, you know, it's possible that. Um, you know, when I type Oculus Quest Pro, or when I type, uh, you know, Oculus Quest 2 Pro, Oculus Pro, or Oculus Quest 4, none of these results come out. None. But when I type Oculus Quest 3, that comes out. So it's possible. I'm thinking, is it going to just be called an Oculus Quest 3? 
of people gearing out, being ready, already submitting into the search engines, the Oculus Quest 3 in the metadata, uh, you know, so that by the time it comes out, they appear first on the search engines. I don't know, guys. I, I'm just saying speculation, but it's very odd and very coincidental. Again, uh, if we read between the lines that if I type Oculus Quest Pro and Oculus Quest 4, nothing comes out. But if I type Oculus Quest 3, these search results come out. So, um, you know, I thought this was extremely, extremely interesting. Anyway, let's just go back to the article. Uh, so it could be for Oculus Quest Pro. So I don't know. Now, apparently Oculus Quest Pro came from a tweet from John Carmack, who's talking about potentially an, an, an uh, Osborne or, or Bosniak or sorry, whatever his name is. Um, uh, you know, about Quest Pro name, but it could just be a code name. Who knows? I don't know. Um, so, uh, I'll, so did Quest Pro specs leak on Reddit? On Wednesday, Reddit user Samulia posted uh, uh, low resolution renders of Oculus Seacliff controllers. Seacliff is a hardware code name present in the Oculus Quest firmware since at least August 2020. At the time, we didn't think much of it because moderator verified Oculus employee Reddit user Amit Oculus commented, just FYI, uh, that we do a lot of internal prototyping before we release final products. I have another quite different prototype, but the newly leaked uh, end of quote. But the newly leaked video conference screenshot raised the credibility of Samulia's leak. Uh, okay, let me just skip a few things. The display is allegedly a dual cell LCD Bowie with the same resolution as Quest 2, but an advanced backlit uh, backlight with pixel level control enabling OLED like black levels. So basically, what this means is they're going to take two LCDs, right? They're going to take two LCDs and slap them on top of each other so that it's more contrasty. That's it. But there's no better, it's not like OLED. OLED, there was another video, another video we did, go and check out the video about OLED that's going to come out in the Oculus Quest 3 apparently. Um, and this is why they could be two separate headsets. One with this LCD technology, which is already done and dusted. And another one, which is more experimental with the OLED, where basically with OLED, and also it will be a higher resolution with OLED, not the current resolution from the Quest 2, apparently. Um, so, you know, that could be also why there could be two separate VR, uh, VR headsets launched by uh, Facebook, FYI. So we are pretty sure there will be uh, an Oculus Quest to whatever it might be called coming uh, this Christmas. And then another one maybe uh, in May, which will be the official Oculus Quest 3. So this begs to defer uh, whether you should rate then, you know, for the new one now or then the, the, the one coming out in May. Because the new one now might cost three to five hundred US dollars and the one coming out in May might cost between five and seven hundred US dollars. Something like that. Um, you know, it's going to be up to you. Uh, as far as we're concerned, we're not going to buy anything. We're not, we don't buy Facebook products, but, um, you know, it's up to you. Anyway, back to the uh, back to the, the, the article. So the use of laser constellation projection could suggest that the controller locates itself relative to the projected pattern uh, which the headset knows the position of and so can translate this to its own coordinate space. So that basically means that there will be two different coordinates. One for the VR headset. So the VR headset basically knows where it is in relation to all these crosses I was just telling you about at the beginning of the video called the constellation. And another one, uh, the constellation pattern will be recognized by the camera inside of the actual controller itself and then know where it is by its own, it doesn't need anything else to tell it as to where it is. Uh, and then, and then, but again, if there's no IR, how is it going to track in the night? Is Windows Mixed Reality technology going to be better? Questions to answer when these things come.